hey everyone welcome back to js cafe and today we are going to solve a very important and very frequently asked front-end interview question uh, which is to create a memoization function so without wasting any time let's get started okay so before jumping into the solution let us have a look what exactly is a memoization function so um, given a function let's say um, we have a function let's say add three uh, terms which will basically take three parameters a, B, C, and it would return sum of these three numbers okay now we want to create a function such that every time we call this add three nums function with same uh, arguments then uh, instead of uh, performing the calculation again and again our memoization function should return the memoized or cached value uh, instead of uh, computing this uh, value again so what i mean by that is we just have to intervene somewhere like we have a, a function called add and we will call our memoization function which we will create and will pass add uh, three nums as the argument okay and in return what uh, memoize function will do is that it would return a memoized function which is capable of caching values based on the uh, arguments and if suppose uh, the user enters same argument then the cached value would be returned so if i call add of one two and three so the output here will be 6 right and again if i call add with 1 2 and 3 it should again return 6 uh, so there is a difference between the function calls on the line 3 and 4 so calling add function with our arguments 1 2 and 3 will perform addition of these three numbers and would return 6 as according to the add three nums function but the second time we call this add function with the same arguments now this computation will, won't happen instead uh, our memoize function has cached value 6 for the uh, arguments as 1 2 and 3 so next time we call this add function with arguments as 1 2 3 it will return now the cached value instead of performing this calculation again and again so this is what we have to build we have to build this memoize function which is capable of accepting any type of arguments and it should uh, call this function passed with uh, all the necessary arguments and should return the value so let us now create this memoize function so we'll declare const as memoize which is a function this memoize function is going to accept a function which we saw in the example and in return this would also return a function great so to solve this question we have to utilize the uh, concept of closures so if you are i am assuming that you are familiar how closure works because this is the core key concept behind uh, this memoize function so to store the cache we will declare a const cache which would be an object or a uh, hash key so we'll declare a cache a variable which is a object okay and this would store our uh, key value pairs key is basically the uh, arguments which are passed and value is the output result okay and this return function would basically uh, receive the arguments which we will pass right 
so just to clarify this again we had add three uh, nums function over here which accepted a b c and it returned a plus b plus c and we created a add function which was memoize of add three nums and on the returned function from this memoize we uh, will call add and we will pass the parameters as one two and three okay so this one two and three arguments will be uh, mapped over here so we see that memoize function returns a function which we stored in the add variable and in that add, add variable we called it with the arguments one two three so this part this return part would contain our arguments so we are not sure that how many arguments uh, uh, will be passed like a user can create a function accepting from no arguments to n number of arguments with any type so we'll just uh, write args with the spread operator so this spread operator will basically create an array of all the arguments that have been passed this args is nothing but an array of all the arguments that have been passed in this return function okay so up till now we have created a memoize uh, function which will accept function fn fn uh, in this case in this example would be add three nums for us so it is like passing the definition of the function and in return we are uh, returning a function which will accept all our arguments so arguments can be anything so we have uh, spread the arguments and uh, will use this args as an array of arguments right now we are not sure that what will be the type of the arguments like it can be number it can be a string and any other depending on the type uh, utility of the function so to uh, make this args a valid key uh, in the cache we have to stringify it else we won't be sure how we will store it uh, in the cache for example if we had known that we have to only memoize a function with a one parameter that is a string for example so it would have been very easy so we just don't need to do anything we just directly uh, put that arguments as a key in the cache and the computed value in the result and what if we have more than one arguments so it would be hard for us to store a key uh, in the cache right so in order to make this arg uh, storable uh, in the cache we just have to stringify it by stringify mean that we convert that whole array uh, into a string so what we do is we just uh, declare a const args to string and we'll use json dot stringify and we'll pass args this will create a string of uh, the whole array so this is now uh, pretty easy for us to store now what we'll do is we'll do a small check that if args to string in cache then uh, you console dot log that like uh, patching from cache for uh, e and we'll pass args to string okay and we'll return cache of args to string if this arg to string was not in the cache i mean we are uh, performing this uh, computation for the first time we just need to perform the calculation first and store the result in some variable so we have the result with us and now is the good time to call the function right but in this case we are not sure how many arguments have been passed right like there can be n number of arguments and args an array 
so is there any way where we can call the function and we can pass the arguments as an array yeah you get it right we'll use apply if you are not uh, comfortable uh, about call bind and apply then uh, do uh, and if you want me to make a video on this topic then do let me know uh, in the comments okay so we have function dot apply and we pass the reference as this it doesn't matter for now what is the context and we pass the args array so this line over here will call up the function uh, fn with the arguments as args so what this is equivalent to is equivalent to calling uh, add three nums uh, with uh, abc as uh, the uh, arguments right and now we just need to um, store no before that we just need to console that um, computing values for um key e or args args is i think better for args as um argument string now we are uh, store cache in dot args to string equals to result and we return result and in this part const const and dot dot log one two three as one two three and let's try to run this note Fine. So, uh, in this line, we saw that we, when we called this add function for the first time, it said computing values for args one two three. It computed value six. Next time we call this add function with the same arguments, it's told that fetching from the cache for args one two three, right? So this uh, saved us uh, from computing value of one two three again second time and this is what our uh, this is what a memoize uh, function looks like and this is a very very hot uh, interview question and it is asked very frequently uh, in the interviews another step uh, in this memoization uh, thing is that uh, you may be asked how you can uh, implement this memoize function in uh, recursive calls uh, for example if we see look at the uh, factorial code so factorial looks like uh, everyone knows like i am assuming that you know how a uh, factorial function right we write if x uh, is equal to 1 then uh, return if x equal to 0 return 1 else uh, return x into factorial of x minus 1 and so on right this is a very basic factorial function now to use memoization in this like suppose in some uh, like in the code you have already computed the factorial of 5 right now the uh, interviewer has asked you to compute the factorial of 6 so factorial of 6 is nothing but 6 multiplied by factorial of 5 which factorial of 5 you have already computed before so this is where the memoization will um, come into the play so let's create a uh, factorial with a memoized, uh, memoized version of factorial. So we have factorial equals to memoize and it will accept an x and it would uh, this memoize function is uh, expected to uh, accept a function as an uh, argument. Now what we do is we say that if our x equals to 0 then please return 1 else uh, 
what you have to do is return x into factorial of x minus 1 okay so if we do a uh, console dot log factorial of 5 and the same time i do factorial of 6 so now let's look uh, what would be the result let's expand it okay so these were the values from the uh, previous add function and we saw that when we uh, did factorial of 5 so we computed value for 5 4 3 2 1 0 and it gave us 120 right now next time we uh, did uh, computation for 6 we computed value for 6 and for 5 we saw that we did fetch uh, fetching from the cache for the argument 5 and we return 720 as the answer so this is where uh, memoization comes into the play for uh, uh, recursive calls so how did we do that it was nothing just calling the factorial function again uh, inside the memoized part like for example uh, assume that you have a factorial of 5 uh, in the memoized uh, version okay now calling this factorial with 6 so in the memoized we uh, you receive an x right and you do x or is equal to 0 and everything all right uh, so calling factorial 6 is that we passed 6 over here and we check if x is equal to 0 return 1 no x was not 0 so we go to the else part we did 6 star factorial of x minus 1 so now this line is what factorial of x minus 1 is nothing but return of the memoized function right so you can think of it as returning the memoized part of the uh, memoized function like this part so the moment you call this portion over here right with value f as 5 so uh, this part checks that if 5 is in the cache yes it was so it returned that particular value and our iteration or recursive call stopped right there only and it returned it value so um, this is how we uh, implement a memoized function in javascript and we have used uh, the concept of closures extensively uh, to uh, solve this question and if you are not familiar with closures and other concepts then do let me know in the comments i'll make uh, videos uh, on that topics as well so uh, this was all in this video uh, see you in the next one